Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about a really cool, exciting feature in OpenSSH. OpenSSH now supports FIDO security devices. In my hands, I have one such FIDO compatible security device. This is a YubiKey 4 produced by a company called YubiCo. Uh, and they produce the device that is compatible with the FIDO 2 standard. What this key allows me to do is to enhance establishing SSH sessions by requiring this factor to also exist in conjunction with my SSH private key. Let me show you how easy it is to use a FIDO key. I input the key into my computer and now I'm going to generate a key pair that has support for uh, the FIDO standard. And in generating this SSH key pair, the, the, the operating system and the program will require me to physically confirm that I want to create this key pairing. So here it says, you may need to touch your authenticator to authorize key generation. And I'm now gonna touch it. I don't want to use a passphrase. And there we go. Uh, what we have here is a public key a private key and the token is still plugged into my keyboard. So let's demonstrate how this works when actually using it in SSH applications. Um, if I specify on the command line that I want to use the just generated FIDO key identity and I want to SSH into localhost, it requires me to physically confirm that I want to use this specific key pairing. And the, the, it's really cool. Uh, if I do not press the key or if I do not physically possess this specific device, there is not enough cryptographic information available to establish the SSH key session. Uh, so this uh, reduces the amount of problems I have if I leak my SSH private key uh, and also compared to the previous way of doing things with YubiKeys, where Yubico uh, was driven by using a OTP mechanism, a one-time password mechanism that was tunneled through the YubiKey emulating it being a USB keyboard. And emulating that you're a USB keyboard combined with security uh, operations has some downsides because it's quite easy for the OTP passphrases to end up in the wrong window, like an IRC or a chat or an email window. If you use the FIDO standard, this device does not present itself as a USB keyboard, but as a separate information input stream into the operating system uh, in which the operating system interacts with this device over USB. But they are separate devices. Uh, the assumption is that if you hack my operating system, you still do not have physical access to this key and you cannot physically press the button on this key. So this is why I think FIDO uh, is a very cool technology. It's very easy to use. This, this uh, FIDO puts keys like this almost on equal footing as a car key or a bike key. And I think it does need to be that simple. You don't want users to copy paste OTPs from A to B. You don't want devices emulating to be a USB keyboard. Uh, you want something that is simple to understand and just works out of the box. And FIDO devices with OpenSSH or Firefox, it works out of the box.